another word to it, which is theory. Anybody know what a theory is? Theory is a guess. It's a <coughs> good guess based on something you know. One of the first principles of the chaos theory is surprises and random organization. Wave, wave, wave. Do you see that pattern in this? Isn't it beautiful? It's so artistic and it's a natural object. And this twig follows some of the rules of chaos theory. Patterns that are there in nature, some of which we can see immediately and some of which we cannot. of wind. The gust of wind got all busy and bothered and floppy and flappy and joined, started blowing and blowing and blowing and pushed over one cloud, bumped into another cloud and all these clouds were getting really agitated and filling up and gathering up because of all this agitation which was definitely not supposed to be there if there had not been that little butterfly's wing. butterfly survives, how it migrates, and also this notion that one thing added to the next, added to the next, can have great effects. Let's remind ourselves how a butterfly comes to be. How does it start off? The very, very first form a butterfly takes. An egg, that's right. It starts out as a teeny tiny little egg. So this is going to be the milkweed section. So in the milkweed section, you're going to do a step called a parasha. Parasha and eat and eat and eat. Parasha and eat and eat and eat. Stand up. Let's try that.